Hi, I'm Penny with Hubert. Today I'm going to talk to you about ball wrap manual food processors. These items are very popular here and we do get a lot of questions about why would I want to buy one style over another or things like which blades work with which and which replacement parts um, can I use. So let's cover that. So you can obviously see there's a couple different sizes here in front of me. Um, so the 3.5 is what Volrath calls the smaller unit. It basically has a three and a half inch square cutting area. If you want to jump up to the next size, they call it the 5.0, which is a five inch cutting area. So those are two distinct features in the beginning. Um, the next thing you need to decide upon is what you're going to do with these. The 3.5 has basically three things you can do. You can dice, you can pour, and you can wedge. If you jump up to the 5.0, you still have the same three features of dicing, pouring, and wedging, but you can also slice with this. So this one does make it a bit more versatile. The other thing with the size, the 5.0, you can actually put a six inch deep food pan under here, which allows you to dice directly into the pan. So I do like that as well about the 5.0. Um, the, the another big thing you need to think about are the replacement parts you can use with these because there are a lot of uh, parts and pieces. So in the beginning, when you purchase one of these, you need to decide what size you need. Um, there's a three eighths inch, a quarter inch, and a half inch. So your initial purchase of the unit will give you that size that you need. Um, you can easily switch things in and out. The nice thing is if you have the half inch and the quarter inch, you can switch those very easily using the same pusher head because the pusher head works with either one of those. If you go with the three eighths inch size, you do need new components for that. Um, let me show you this one over here for a minute. So this is actually the core blade, and you can see here, this is actually um, for pouring and wedging, and I have the wedging blade in. So those are some options that you can go with um, on the 5.0. Also on the 5.0, I wanted to show you a little bit closer, um, the dicing blade. So you can see that in there. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is one of the thumb screws that tightens the blade in. So make sure that you have extras of these on hand. So one of the big wear and tear items with this is the blade. And I'm gonna show you on the 5.0, this is what the blade looks like. What's nice on all of the Valrath units, it does tell you in here what size you're using. So when it does come time for a replacement, if you look on here, you can see what size you need for the replacement. Um, so this is just the blade that you can buy by itself. If you need just the pusher block, that's also available by itself, which is this black item here. You can see it attached here on the T-handle. On the back is where you will find the size for that, so very helpful when it comes time for your replacements. If you want to purchase a whole new set, we do have a set as well that comes like this. So if you can see this, you have the T-handle. The pusher head is attached to it in the blade. So that is actually a set that you can buy. So it's kind of like, depending on how quickly you're changing sizes out, that will help you decide which things you wanna to buy to easily switch out. The blades do come out very easily, so I like that on here. Let me take the pusher head off. There is a thumb screw back here, and you just undo that and the blade comes right out. So when you're switching between sizes, you can easily switch and, and, and work very easily that way. Um, so let me tell you two other pieces that we get a lot of replacement parts on. Um, these are the replacement white bumpers. Um, they do sell by the each. I would always try to have several extra, extras of these on hand because they have to be on here when you're engaging the blade. Um, so make sure you have the extras of those on hand. Another thing that tends to get lost easily is something very simple and it's a thumb screw. There are several on here. There's one on here that actually um, puts the blade in place, so you need that. And then they're also on top of the T-handle. There's two of them as well. That's what holds the pusher head on. So you probably should have that um, on hand as well. Well, I think that covers it. Um, if you still need help trying to figure out what size you need or parts and pieces, give us a call. We're happy to talk you through that. Or if you want a little bit more help, you can also visit Hubert.com. Thanks for watching.